guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, uh, film I watched the other night, my friend decided to lend me the film, uh, never seen it before, um, kind of on his uh, recommendation to watch it, and that film in question is The Wolf of Wall Street. Now, the uh, the director of the film is Martin Scorsese, he's a bit of a you know, kick-ass sort of director. Uh, he's working with Leonardo DiCaprio again, uh, they did The Departed. Uh, really, Leonardo DiCaprio is the main star of the film. Also, you got Jonah Hill, and uh, really Matthew McConaughey. They are really the only recognisable, well-known faces. Uh, you've got Shane from The Walking Dead. He's in it for a bit. But The Wolf of Wall Street is a 2013 real-life black comedy film based on a true story about a guy called Jordan Belfort. Now, Jordan Belfort is is the sort of typical American dream. Is the guy who goes from nothing. Uh, losing his uh, potential apprenticeship as a big stock market broker. Um, he then goes into penny stocks, which are very small sort of up-and-coming businesses that want, want to make a lot of money pretty quick. Jonah Hill is a guy living in his building, and one day they meet each other at a restaurant. This is where Jonah Hill asks how Leonardo DiCaprio got such a nice car. He explains that he made $72,000 in one week and uh, this is where the friendship of Joan Hill and Leonardo DiCaprio becomes part of the film. The film is pretty long, it's 2 hours 52 minutes of running time so it's not like it's uh, a Sunday afternoon lazy watch sort of film. It's a film that you've got to watch, be concentrated, clear the rest of your day and watch it. The film is based around the stock market, uh, Wall Street all about businesses and companies trying to sell their stake of themselves, trying to make a lot of money. Well, the film really is about Leonardo DiCaprio taking a lot of drugs, uh, employing a lot of strippers, throwing midgets, running around from the FBI and the CIA and all them sort of government agencies. Um, it's meant to be about Wall Street, however, a lot of it is about his life of how he made an absolute shitload of money in a small amount of time. One part of the film, it's probably about 10 minutes long and they are discussing the terms and the rules of uh, midget tossing. Trying to throw a small person into a target and whoever gets closest to the bullseye wins. And that's pretty much what it's like throughout the whole film. A lot of drugs, a lot of sex, Leonardo DiCaprio making an absolute shitload of money in a legal way and having the time of his life. The film isn't bad. Like I say, it is a long film, so you know you've got to clear your calendar. There are some comedy moments in it, especially when he uh, tries to drive his Lamborghini when he's doped up to the eyeballs on drugs. Uh, that has some funny consequences. Jonah Hill looks like a guy out of Grand Theft Auto Vice City with his false, weird, big teeth, his big hair and his glasses. He just looks like some guy that you do jobs for on Grand Theft Auto Vice City. But if you're a fan of uh, Martin Scorsese and his previous directing work, a fan of Leonardo DiCaprio, or you just fancy seeing a load of prostitutes, drugs and uh, midget tossing, then uh, The Wolf of Wall Street is definitely a film for you. So guys, thanks for watching my uh, review of The Wolf of Wall Street. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Also, links down below as per usual. We The Devoted. Links down below as per usual. Use TobyWTD, gets you 20% off any We The Devoted items you decide to buy. New items of fitness are coming out very, very soon. Can't wait for them. Go check them out. But guys, thank you for watching my review of The Wolf of Wall Street. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.